today for a special occasion. I have a guest star for the first time. This is model Becky Lee. She's been published in many car culture and pinup magazines, including Bachelor Pad, The Pinup, and Old School Rods, and most recently, the UK's Teas and Cake magazine. She has a degree in culinary arts and worked as a baker and pastry chef for many years. Today, she's here to make us a recipe from her recently published Becky Lee's Vegan Cheesecake Cookbook. We're gonna get treated to her Cincinnati chili recipe. So, welcome. Thank you, thank and you for having me. Absolutely, I'm very excited to try her recipe. I just wanted to ask you and please tell everybody what prompted you to put together this adorable cookbook. Uh, well, I actually, I have a degree in culinary arts. Um, I was a baker for many years and um, I became vegan um, almost two years ago and I love to cook and a lot of people were asking me uh, for recipes. I, I love to take pictures of my food and people are always asking me about all my recipes and so I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to make a cookbook. Great. Well, we're very <laughs> excited and I think the feedback has been good so far. Mm -hmm. So today I'm just going to step back and let you do your thing and then <laughs> I get to come back for the fun part when we get to taste it at the end. <laughs> Okay, so today we are making Cincinnati chili uh, from my cookbook. Uh, it was started in the 1920s by two Macedonian immigrants who actually served this chili outside a burlesque theater um, called The Empress. And later they opened their own restaurant called The Empress and they started serving this chili over spaghetti noodles. If you've seen Anthony Bourdain's No Reservations, when they went to Cincinnati, they actually went and had Cincinnati chili. And uh, this is one of my favorite recipes in the cookbook. So to get started, uh, we're actually gonna put two tablespoons of oil in the pan. And we're gonna heat this up. And um, I'm gonna make sure that you get your oil fairly hot. Um, let this warm up a little bit. The pan is nice and hot and uh, the way you can tell is you can just put like a little piece of onion and see it's starting to sizzle. So then you can just add the rest of your onion and I'm going to add the mushrooms. I really like to use mushrooms um, because it's a good re meat replacement because mushrooms have that meaty flavor. Stir this up a little bit. And I'm going to add my sliced mushrooms. Okay, I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to cook this down. And we're just going to cook this down until the mushrooms and the onions uh, brown a little bit. Sometimes I, I like to add a little pinch of salt um, when I'm uh, browning my onions. Kind of helps them sweat. And you want to cook this on uh, medium high heat. And then we're just going to cook this down for a couple minutes. Okay, this has been cooking for about eight minutes now, and you can see it's starting to get um, brown. And now we're going to add our garlic. And you want to make sure to, you know, add the garlic towards the end here um, while you're cooking your onions and mushrooms down um, because you don't want the garlic to burn. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. So I'm just going to cook this for just a minute just to um, cook off that harsh um, garlic flavor. And that smells so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the same. <laughs> okay, so that seems good. Okay, so now we're gonna add our spices. And Cincinnati chili is very interesting. It's very Midwest meets Middle East because it has a lot of interesting different spices in it. This actually has cocoa and cinnamon in it. Um, allspice, pepper. Um, Let's see, we've got oregano, <laughs> chili powder, our cocoa, cinnamon, cayenne. Oh, I just put this. Allspice, black pepper, and salt. Mm -hmm. So just kind of like how you do with like a roux, you just want to 
um, kind of cook down these flavors. Um, just kind of make the flavors bloom. Can you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> smell a vision TV, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you just want to cook it like this just for a minute. And now it's fragrant. So now we're going to add our uh, water and our vegetable broth. And then we're going to add our tomato sauce. Get everything out. Okay. So now I'm going to stir this up. Okay, and then we're going to let this sit and simmer on medium-high heat for about an hour. And now would this be where we add the apple cider vinegar as yes. well? Yes, uh-huh. All right. Go ahead, dump that in. There we go. Okay, so now it's ready to simmer. And we'll come back when it is done. Okay, we're back and this has finished cooking down. Um, I actually want to step back. Um, I don't know if you heard me say, uh-oh, um, when I was throwing in the spices. Cocoa, cinnamon, cayenne. Oh, I just put this. Um, I ended up throwing in the, the brown sugar, um, which is which you would want to add when you're adding the, the broth. Now, are you laughing at me? I'm using, actually. <laughs> and, and the um, apple cider vinegar. And... Um, if you don't want to use brown sugar, I like to use a tablespoon of just regular um, evaporated cane sugar and agave. So that's another option if you don't want to do brown sugar. Um, but this is finished cooking down. It's nice, uh, nice and thickened and it's nice red color. It smells amazing. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> and so we are ready to add our kidney beans. Um, traditionally, you would add the kidney beans on top, but I actually like to add them into the chili just to um, to thicken up the sauce a bit more because you know since it doesn't have the um, the meat in it. So I'm just going to stir this up, and we're just about ready to plate it. Um, with Cincinnati chili, um, you can serve it in many different ways, uh, depending on how you like it. Um, traditionally, um, you would want to serve it five way where you just have like everything and I'll show you um, one way is just where you have you serve just the chili um, two ways when you serve it over the bed of spaghetti noodles uh, three ways when you'd add the cheese um, four way is with the um, the onions and the bean and five way would be with the beans so you serve it however you want and so we're going to take the plate here and I um, butter my noodles um, so they don't stick together. And I'm just gonna put my noodles down. I like to use uh, Earth Balance Buttery Spread. Uh, that's my favorite uh, vegan uh, margarine. And I, um, I like that, have you seen they have the, the soy free? Now? I have, yes. Yeah, I haven't tried it, but I, because I, I actually, I try to um, not use soy very much. Um, so I'm glad that they did that. So I'm just spooning this over the spaghetti noodles. And then I'm going to add my uh, Daya cheese. Now, so traditionally, if you go to Cincinnati, they just load it with cheese. I mean, they will put like a pound of cheese on top. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, I think you get more cheese than you get spaghetti noodles. Okay, and then I'm gonna top it with some more onion. And there it is. There is the Cincinnati chili. Well, I want to thank you for making this a beautiful chili, and we're going to take a bite when we're done here. 
and I'm very excited to try it. It smells delicious mm -hmm. and I want to thank you for being here and sharing your recipe. Okay. I also want to remind everybody about the cookbook where you can get this recipe but we'll also include this recipe in the description below so you can remember how to make this and see the amounts for all of the spices and seasonings we use today. And then I'll also link to where you can find Becky Lee. She has a website and social media so I'll make sure you know where to find her.